Now to attend news follow up about a freak accident at a national city crematorium that sent a cloud of smoke into the air. Yesterday, there were concerns that that smoke contained human ashes. Today, only 10 News reporter Travis Rye spoke to the owner who claims that was not the case. Cortez Family Cremation says what happened here yesterday is definitely going to affect their business and that's why they let us inside today with our cameras to explain what really happened. It's a glitch or something happened with the door that it wouldn't close all the way. No one knows yet why the oven door didn't shut. It's physically impossible to breathe human cremains. But Angela Cortez wants people to know what burned. So what exactly was the smoke from then yesterday? It was from the cardboard box. Federal law mandates the deceased be placed in a spill-proof container before they're cremated, and that's the only thing, according to the owner, that caught fire while the door was jammed open. And our heat detectors are those white ones right up there. 10 News was showed the oven room along with the fire suppression system that kicked on immediately after the smoke was detected. The smell that people were saying that was minty and things like that, it, it's not, you know, human. It's not someone being cremated at the time. What they were smelling was the actual chemical that was being released. When it happened, officials indicated that human remains were possibly released into the air, but added they are still investigating. The people are under the conception that they're like cigarette ashes or um, bomb fire ashes, chimney ashes. It's nothing like that. Cortez says firefighters reset the oven, which closed the door and properly finished the cremation. And she can prove it. Humans, believe it or not, cremate really clean. Cortez Family Cremations remains open, but they say that they are not able to fire up their oven until next week when that fire extinguishing agent arrives. It's worth mentioning that even after the story rain yesterday, they still were receiving calls from interested clients. In National City, Travis Rice, 10 News. That is an interesting point.